Dr. Rhonda Lowe joins us now, and today we are talking about a newly discovered brain disorder. It's a very interesting thing, Colleen. Being able to find our way around our own home or to and from work isn't difficult, but some people get lost, even in the most familiar of environments. And now we know why. Imagine getting lost in even the most familiar environments. You can't remember where to turn on streets you have walked down for years. Finding your workplace is a major task. There are people who are um, unable to orient and they easily get lost and they get lost since they were children. This condition now has a name. UBC researcher Giuseppe Gieria has discovered a new brain disorder called developmental topographical disorientation. But they uh, get lost in their own house. These are people that they get lost in the neighborhood where they lived for 25 years. Dr. Gieria says people suffering from this disorder can lose their bearings with every turn. East literally becomes north. They are unable to process geographical information like others. When you move in a new environment, you start building in your mind knowledge about places and landmarks, and you create a special relationship in your mind between these places, so that with time, you can move from any place to anywhere without getting lost. Orientation is complex. It uses many parts of the brain. We don't fully develop all of the cognitive skills until we're about 9 or 10. But for some reason, people suffering from developmental topographical disorientation never fully develop the ability. Developmental topographical disorientation can occur for so many different reasons. So there are, for example, people who have a problem in forming a mental representation of the environment, a cognitive map, or there are people who are uh, uh, just simply uh, unable to remember uh, left or right turns according to specific landmarks. Dr. Yeria has been contacted by about 60 people who have the condition, but he believes there are many more who are suffering in silence. I have been told from so many people uh, that they actually try to explain uh, uh, their problems to friends, relatives, but actually it's impossible for them to understand, so they gave up. He hopes bringing them together will help them cope with their difficulties, and the key is to start working with patients while they're still young. I'm assuming that they had this problem since they were children, so if we are able to identify uh, children with this specific, specific issue, then it would be easier because of neuroplasticity to intervene and to um, act. Doctor, I bet there are a lot of people who relate to that. That's right. Well, do you have a good sense of direction, Colleen? I take a compass with me do you? when I travel, absolutely, because yeah. I don't, I just don't. Yeah, my problem is, is I can't even read a compass decently. <laughs> That's why I actually use a GPS. <laughs> smart, smart woman. Okay. So can you can retrain, you know, train yourself to, to, you know, do this better? That's what the researchers are looking at. They're actually looking at rehabilitation treatments. Now, there are many different strategies that people use to orient themselves. And a common way is to create a mental map of your environment. Now, the researchers found people who don't make mental maps, well, they don't seem to use a certain part of their brain as well. So they've designed a treatment to focus on a few landmarks rather than being confused by all the information you're getting from your surroundings. Now the other important component is to raise awareness so sufferers don't feel so isolated and a lot of people don't make fun of you. Oh exactly, okay how do we get more information about this? Okay well if you otherwise function very well but easily get lost and have done so since childhood, we'll leave information on our website at www.ctvbc.ca on how to contact Dr. Yearia or get more information on how we orient ourselves in our environment. It's really interesting. Interesting stuff. Thanks, yeah. doctor.